Good morning, my name is Choma and this is The Frame. It's Friday, the sweet sound of the word Friday. We bring you stories making the headlines this week, which we hope will drive that discussion and get people talking this weekend. We start with Baga, the unfortunate Baga massacre. Last week, in response to an attack on the Joint Task Force by members of the Islamic Boko Haram sect, there was an invasion at Baga in Borno State, which is on the border of Lake Chad, and that's where the agreement stops. On the number of the dead, numbers have ranged from 1 to 25 to 6 to 185, 187, and even 191. We think that the king's horses and the king's men should stop banding numbers about and actually do something to ensure this kind of horrible, horrible event doesn't ever happen again. Moving on to the South-South, and Governor Emmanuel Ewetan Udwagan has said that although he wants local government elections, it's been quite challenging setting up the Delta State Independent Electoral Commission. It will be noted that it should be noted that um, local government elections have not held in the state since two thousand and eight. We hope that that is rectified soonest. Still in the south south, there's been a war of words between Governor Vakwaibom, Godzilla Babio, and the senator representing the Kotep Bene constituency, Senator Aloysius Etuk. Governor Ababio has indicated interest in contesting the Ikotep Bene seat come 2015 when his tenure as governor ends. And Senator Aloysius Etuk has made it known that there is no vacancy in that position. I thought it was the electorate who was supposed to decide what's going on between these two men. Question, where is Syriacus Njoko? Syriacus Njoko, a member of the People's Democratic Party, was arrested earlier this month on, on charges of rape and remanded in Suleja prisons. There's been no word about his about his charges. We still don't know if he has access to a lawyer now. And we watch and wait and hope that that issue is rectified as well. By the way, good news. We will all soon be fenced in as the House of Representatives have unanimously accepted a motion to border Nigeria, to build a fence, you know, to cover the borders of Nigeria. The House Committee on Immigration is going to work with the Ministry of Interior and Immigration on this. And the frame wonders, do we actually need a border or are there things like electricity, education, unemployment that should be tackled first? Finally, President Goodluck Jonathan has vowed that the perpetrators of the Baga massacre will be brought to book. He made this vow and if we were to rewrite this, we would say that there would be an investigation into the remote and immediate causes of the Baga massacre and the perpetrators will be brought to justice. We hope that it moves beyond mere words and riding a huge wave of sentiments to actually stopping this tragedy from ever occurring again. It's Friday and whatever you do today, be resourceful, be fruitful and please be safe. My name is Chama and this is The Frame.